Laying back onto the floor on our yoga mat, with our feet hip width apart. So just lengthen in the back of the spine, flatten the lower back to the floor, draw the navel in by about 10%, drawing up the pelvic floor muscles, lengthen in the back of the neck, and we can begin our Ujjayi breathing. And from here, we come onto the pads of the toes. So the lower back in contact with the floor, pelvic floor muscles up and inward, navel drawn in. Ujjayi breathing, and on the pads of the toes, we just pitter-patter the toes. Piss a pat of the toes, backwards and forwards, side to side, and rest. Then we come onto the heels, just the heels, same core strength, navel drawn in, pelvic floor upward, flattened back, just the heels, pitter patter, backwards and forwards, and side to side, and rest. Then let's just come onto the pads of the feet, same thing, flattened back, navel drawn in, pelvic floor muscles up, and Ujjayi breathing, just the pads of the feet, backwards and forwards, side to side, and rest in the centre. Take a moment to relax, same thing, flattened back, navel drawn in, and roll to the outside edges of the feet. Draw the pelvic floor muscles up and inward, and we're on the sides of the feet. Backwards and forwards, and side to side. You can feel the work going on in the inner thighs, and resting. And then the whole of the feet working pitter patter. Black in the back, navel drawn in, pelvic floor up, Ujjayi breathing. Build up for doing this longer and longer each morning to bring a bit of energy into the feet, the legs, up to the base chakra, second chakra, and manipura. And that is foot yoga with Sue. So, 